<laughs> you could have <laughs> picked a slightly less hill. I know, to I it was a tactical error. But, you know, <laughs> we thought when you got that view, you've got to go for it. So we find ourselves in the village of Shaftesbury. Now this is quite a famous little village because of this bloody great hill. And this hill was in a very famous advert. We've got a real resident here. <laughs> this is amazing. So, so, so this is um, a, like a house, like a couple of bed house or something? Or? Three bedrooms, well, two bedrooms plus the study and the kitchen. You definitely get fit. <laughs> I'm hoping so, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> That was cool, we met a real person who's moving into this, this here road. Real life website. It's well steep, look. And slippy. Down there. Yeah, it's a famous advert. I think in 1973, um, Wrigley Scott um, did the advert, which is famously made famously fam famously famously fam famously made famous. Easy for you to say. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it was a good one. It was voted the the country's favourite advert. For Hovis bread. It's for Hovis bread, yeah. Little boy was pushing his little bike up there. Cutie little lad, I seem to remember it. Steps of our always ready. There's wheat germ in that loaf, he'd say. Get it inside your boy, and you'll be going up that hill as fast as you come down. Though this still has many times more wheat germ than ordinary bread. But we're off now to do a gig in the uh, theatre just up the road. Ah, should be fun. So here we are. Um, that is a steep hill. I know that much. We've got to walk up there to get to the Glastonbury Tour. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Hmm. It's quite a lot steeper than that. All right, well, let's, let's give it a go, shall we? Okay. I just hope there's a McDonald's at the top. <laughs> I think we might find some druids if we're lucky. Let's get some druids. Should we go to the right mm. side? On the left side. Right, I want to go left because that's the one that goes up, isn't it? Okay, well, we've just had it confirmed by those people that this is the underground.
cool way to go. Nobody comes up here. Yeah, I feel like a bloody goat. Anyways, we'll soldier on. Good luck. It's so steep. I thought it was just a gentle little walk. This is like being a Machu Picchu or something. Machu? you? <laughs> the Himalayas. They need an iron slip. Well, I'm getting that if you do. <laughs> oh my god, I'm cool. Come on. There it is. I'm nearly there. Oh, bloody hell. Sunday morning, really? Right, should we go? Should we go this way? Up there? Yeah. Or should we go that way? Y you go that way. I'll go this way. <laughs> the conical hill of clay in Blue Lias rises from the Somerset levels. It was formed when surrounding softer deposits were eroded, leaving the hard cap of sandstone exposed. The slopes of the hill are terraced, but the method by which they were formed remains unexplained. Artifacts from human visitation have been found dating from the Iron Age to Roman eras. Several buildings were constructed on the summit during the Saxon and early medieval periods. They have been interpreted as an early church and monk's hermitage. The head of a wheel cross dating from the 10th or 11th century has been recovered, and the original wooden church was destroyed by an earthquake in 1275 in the stone church of St. Michael, built on the site in the 14th century. Its tower remains, although it has been restored and partially rebuilt several times. Archaeological excavations during the 20th century sought to clarify the background of the monument and the church, but some aspects of their history remain unexplained. The tour is mentioned in Celtic mythology, particularly in myths linked to King Arthur, and has a number of other enduring mythological and spiritual associations. So we're on our way back down now, and uh, I mean, it was quite nice. It was pretty heavy going on the walk, I have to say. Not for the faint-hearted. Um, and to be honest, there was a lot more people there than what I hoped for. I mean, it's early. I don't think people get up this sort of time of the morning. It's uh, Sunday morning. What's the time, Maddie? Um, it's 10 past two. Well, it's, it's, it's early afternoon. But it is Sunday. Hang on, look, there's some sheep here, look, look. Oh, look at this, look at this willow. Yeah, mate. Hang on, what look, willow? It's pretty. Look, okay. It's like an arbor. Yeah, there's a tree there. It's right. not, no show them, look, it's really nice. Do you like that? Yeah. No, no. Right, so, where was I? It's, it's early-ish, it's on a Sunday when people should be, I don't know. It's not early, it's 10 past two. All right, it's not early, but they were all up there being noisy and talking and... I like that man chanting. Oh, yeah, the man chanting was brilliant. I mean, each to their own, I have to say, but God, what a load of old shit. <laughs> I mean, it's just a mount of, of... I mean, it's pretty flat around here. We've, we've worked out that it's really flat if you look out across sort of Glastonbury in this area, and then there's that one bump and they must have thought back in a day, oh, that's a magical bump. That's been built by some magic. So let's whack a thing on the top of it and, and get real hippie. And I think that's sort of intensified over the years. I'm going down there or along here? Oh, shh. Oh, look at that tree root that's up. Tree root. No, let's not look at that. Let's carry on up here. No, I think we're meant to go down this one. Oh, bloody hell. Go on then. If you ever go to Glastonbury and there's a moment that you're not completely stoned or drunk out of your, your head. It's, it's all right. Come up for a little uh, little walk and, uh, you know, check it out. It's all right. It's pretty good. Maybe burn some 
some incense and some bits and uh, have a little dance, have a little chant, you know, if it floats your boat and makes you feel happy, just go for it. There's some people camped out down there. Oh, we've got some campers. Oh, blow. It's all turned a bit Blair Witch now. Now we've got to be careful now because we've, we've come across some full-on chanters. They're, they're doing some chakras. We're doing something about a chakra, which I've got nothing against chakras. So. Well, all I can say is they could have built something a little bit bloody closer to the floor because that was hard work, wasn't it? Hey, we're into Stu's Tops Tips again. If you want to come up and see this, I, I guess I recommend it. It's a nice view and all that. Um, I would suggest coming up this street. So, have a look at this. There's a little street there. And the sat-nav takes you to uh, pretty much here. And then you're going to walk along here and up there. And I think it's the quickest route from what I found. There's a little bit of parking at the bottom. Uh, it says on TripAdvisor you park in town and walk up, but it's like a mile. By the time you got there, you'll be absolutely knackered. Um, so I think this is a pretty good little place to go. There's a few parking spaces down here. And a uh, top tip from Stu again. Now this is a place that we've booked up, we just found it online, and it's a place called the Sheppy Inn, it's a free house. It's the weirdest like, little village near Glastonbury, and uh, I've just come across to the pub here, and check this out. First of all, we've got string holding the door open, all right, see that, and <laughs> very sophisticated, but this place is amazing you have to come and check it out there we go there it is have a look at I think it's a place called Godney right and uh, it is incredible check this out is a really such a cool place it's called what the Sheppey Inn. Sheppey Inn the Sheppey Inn at Godney I mean check this out this is a bloody work of art it's um, rhubarb and ginger gin um, I've got a homemade pims which tastes it just has to say phenomenal it's got like it's and ice look cube. at the bloody ice cube it's got Starley's fruit we've got well, cucumber, well, all sorts of things in it. Lime. We've got some strawberries, we've got some. Elderflower. I don't even know what that is, but I like that. Look at this, we've got elderflower. some sort of. What's that? Elderflower. It's elderflower. <laughs> um, it's absolutely delicious. Mm. The place is so cool. Can we show them the stream? Yeah, we show, we'll show you a stream in a minute. Um, it's so nice. We're staying here for, um, for one evening. And um, a little quick around the room, I'm sure that's nice as well. It's just such a, an amazingly quirky place. There's kind of. Yeah, it's an amazing place. There's a piece of rope holding the front door open. With like. This is the marker for our bar tab. That's our bar tab. Other people get like Disney characters or bears and stuff. We've got the white horse. Yeah, it's amazing. We nearly got. We, we, we had a choice between Roger Rabbit and uh, Woody from Toy Story as our tab. I mean, the barmaid, she makes all her own cordials, yeah. makes her own gin, makes her own pins. How many people do that? She's got care and attention to everything, but it's really relaxed, isn't it? We're just going to have some food. Hopefully the food will be delicious as well. The we, menu looks amazing. We'll do a little tour. Should we do a little walk around tour? We'll do a little walk around, show. It's like an art gallery area. Beautiful river behind us. I mean, Godney, you wouldn't believe it. I mean, it just seems like no one lives here. It's just a little track. I mean, we thought we were in France somewhere, mm. so... Mm. It's, like, it's like the Broads. The Broads. Apparently, it was a, it was a um, peat area. 
area where they where they dug peat. So this pub originally had a section where apparently the guys would come in and just get completely pissed on cider and go out and dig peat all day. Oh yeah, they had a cider okay. hatch. Cider hatch. We'll, we'll see if we can show you. <laughs> I'm not sure if we can get that. Stick your hand in. Mm. Oh my god, the food's here. Check this out. We got seen a chip like that ever before. Oh, delicious. Steak sandwich. Um, chicken. Something on there? Oh my Egg. god. This is delicious.